What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Nothing But Rips. And today we've got part two of the 2023 Top Series 2 Battle Royale where we're comparing different formats and uh, reviewing which one you should buy. So part one has already been uploaded. That one was 12 fat packs and part two will be right now, which is one hobby box. And part three will be uploaded uh, tomorrow and that will be eight hanger boxes. So like I said earlier, this will be the hobby box break. If you haven't already checked out uh, part one of the 12 fat packs, go check that out. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but I'll just say, I'll leave you with a, there was a case hit and a superstar surefire hall of fame relic card. So, all right, we got 24 packs and a silver pack for hobby. Guaranteed one hit, whether it be an autograph or a relic. Hopefully it's a relic. Actually, hopefully it's an autograph relic, but I'll take the autograph as well. So, here we go. Here we go. All right. So, we've got my girlfriend here today. She will be helping me out as well. Switch in when we're, uh, when we're running cold. So guys, let's get started. Pack number one. Hope everyone's having a great Father's Day. Um, hopefully, whether it be a son, if you're a son or a father, you got to rip some cards with yourself or your family, have a great dinner or lunch. Just have to spend some quality time together. All right, we're gonna go through these and just stop at the notable rookies. Jameson Tyone. And number one was a base pack. All right, pack number two. All right, all right. Go Rowdy to Les. Let's see if we get anything. I can see anything. Yeah, looks like we got something. Or is that, is that just the shadow? That might just be the shadow. I think it's just an insert. Join Manessis, Alexis Diaz. Looking for Corbin Carroll, looking for Jordan Walker. We got a Lou Gehrig insert. Put that in the insert pile. Um, yeah, we're looking for Jordan Walker, Corbin Carroll. Looking for Anthony Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, Kodai Senga. Um, just to name a few off the top. Let's see here. Let's see if we can see anything. It doesn't look like anything there, neither. All right. Had a little shortage of Corbin Carroll so far of my Tops 23 rips, so, or Tops 23 Series 2 rips, so hopefully we'll hit one very soon. And another base pack. Uh-oh, 0 for 3. That's a bad start. That's a rough start. Okay, that's why we got 24 of these for hobby boxes. Less punishing than jumbo packs when you go 0 for 3 and you start going a little crazy. All right, what do we got here? We got something. I think it's one of those World Baseball Classic inserts, if I'm not mistaken. Doesn't look like a, a true red parallel. Connor Joe. Yeah, it is one of those WBC inserts. I would love a Shohei. Got a Mookie Betts, not too bad. Got a thing in the back. Jake Fraley. All right, so really slow start. Uh, no notable rookies yet, neither. Um, I'll go one more, and if I don't get anything, I might have to tag, tag the girlfriend in, change the juju up a little bit. Um, not a great start on my part. Let's see what we got here. Anything? I don't even know, guys. All right, Uncle Charlie. Some team cards. What is this one? MVP meets, oh, and new teammates on a magic run, okay. Oh, we got a backwards card. It is a DL Hall, DL Hall rainbow foil. Not too bad. Rainbow foils always look pretty sweet in my opinion. We got a Harry Ford from Great Britain. Good, very good catching prospect from the Seattle Mariners. And for the rest of the pack, just some base cards. 
so I think I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna tag the girlfriend in. Um, that, that rainbow foil bought us one turn. Just one turn. We got we gotta score some a little bit hotter right now. It's for Father's Day, man. Let's do it for all the fathers out there. Even the dog dads, they count. There we go. Ford Proctor. Who? <laughs> Will Benson. Masataka Yoshida. Let's put him in the good rookie pile. Estuary Ruiz. Same coalition. Coalition. And we got a backwards card. Looks like an advanced stats. Yeah, yeah advanced stats. Uh, Reed Detmers. Not bad. It's a cup card too. Reed Detmers. Quality, quality pitcher for the Los Angeles Angels. Very nasty slider. Just trying to figure things out a little bit. He's been uh, struggling a little bit to start this year, but the talent's undeniable. I think he'll write the ship. And he better. I'll show he's gonna leave. <laughs> First numbered card, there we go. And for the rest of the pack, Walker Bueller. Oh, we got our first Corbin Carroll, finally. Let's see how sharp she looks. A little OC, a slightly OC, but should be, should fit under that 60-40 rule. Back is good. Okay, not bad. Sharp Corbin Carroll. That's what I like to hear. Gonna be sending an order to PSA. They got that $15 special going on right now till the end of July for cards from the 90s to the present. I think the max value is $199, so um, not as high as some of the other specials previously, but um, still $15. Great deal for some uh, not crazy high-end cards. All right, to finish out the pack, Jesus Lazardo and Ugi Rosario. All right. I am, let me say that, that, that bought me one more turn. <laughs> that bought me one more turn, hold on. I'm feeling hot after Corbin Carroll. All right, babe, next up, you got next. You got next, and as soon as I switch with you, you're gonna pick out that auto. <laughs> oh, yes, Spencer Strider. I know this is not anything crazy, but. Yeah, I'm a Braves fan. Yeah, no, I'm a Strider fan, so for right now, we'll just put you right here. Be a little spot for Braves cards. The Braves pile. Braves and Shohei pile. <laughs> Vientos. And we got another. Ooh, we got a gold. Some Miami Marlins team card gold. It's pretty cool. Marlins are or have really turned it around this year. It's really surprising, but that team is looking really good. I feel like they're a hitter short of being, you know, an actual serious contender, like a big bat, maybe two, you know, quality bats. Um, but they got that pitching surplus, so I feel like they should uh, should make a move, I shall think. It's, it's time to... And y'all got so many pitchers coming in the minors, too, coming up soon. Jake Eater, um, Trevor Rogers coming back. Um, but yeah. Trade someone for for, uh, for a big bat. It's always kind of what the Marlins need, it seems like. Uh, Connor Capel. Haven't heard of that guy. All right. That wasn't great. So I will tag in. Babe, it's all you. Get rid of these over here. Here we go. Go ahead and put these stands up. Preemptive stands. I'm expecting a lot. Okay. Carlos Perez. There's a lot of rookies I actually haven't, not too familiar with from this set. It's I always kind of feels like that in series two. Oh, if stop, stop, stop. We got a little hit right here. Mini hit. We got an Anthony Volpe, top rookie from this set. We'll go ahead and sleeve him up. Put him in the, put him in the, how about a, a good card pile? We'll just put it in this one. All right. You got a Pedro Martinez 1988 design. Not too bad. Insert pile here.
What was that? Read that verse? Okay. Hack number nine, I guess. About a third of the way through. Everyone's got their different style of opening. <laughs> oh, okay. Mookie Betts. Let's show, show the card in there. Show the card in there. That's a cool card. What, what is this one? Fa oh, it's the favorite son's insert. Okay. So yeah, you get, I hear you get about one of these per hobby box. We'll go ahead and sleeve this one. Still a little unsure on how rare these are exactly. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, put you on the stage for right now. Is that it from that one? to get that Corbin Carroll finally though. It's my first Corbin Carroll, believe it or not. <laughs> Simeon Woods Richardson, Shohei. I just throw him in the, in the notables pile. Stone Garrett. World Series champions. Okay. Oh, nice. We got a 1988 Spencer Steer rookie card parallel. Okay, we'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Give you a quick look at that real quick. He is continuing to rake for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, really impressed with him. Like we talked about in the last video, that team is on the rise. They're fun. Fun team. All right, Steer coming up. Put him on stage for right now. Missing a little color, don't y'all think? On this stage. Let's to spice it up. All right, Nick Senzel. It's the dogs. Shintaro Fujinami, Team Japan. G1 Bay and a base pack. All right, first base pack <laughs> for you. Yeah, they always feel kind of bad. Feels bad, man. It's all good though. Father's Day. Let's get a Father's Day on Father's Day. How'd that go? Father's Day, Corbin Carroll. Come on, come on, Father's Day, Corbin Carroll. Taylor, McCutcheon, ooh, an all aces card, My probably my favorite insert of 2023, oh, there you go, it's a, show, show it on the camera, there you go, it's a Zach Wheeler, nice card, love these collecting this set, let's finish it out, we've got... Nothing, just some base. David, who is that? David Hensley. All right, feeling something big coming up. I think we got it. <laughs> Can we get a little preview on the side? Is there anything? Questionable, maybe something. Francisco Alvarez. Can you show that one real quick? First time seeing it in this box. Big Francisco Alvarez fan. Light tower power. It's actually a lot better defender than people were than you'd expect from how they were talking about him prior to the season. They said they were keeping him down, working on his defense, but he's clearly the best catcher on the Mets, and I think he's great. He just gives them a bunch of energy. Okay, another base pack. Yeah, I remember the team, I think there was some report where they were saying like, there were rumors that Alvarez would be sent down because they have like Nervaez and Nito all 
also there, and I'm gonna go with the veterans because that's what the manager, not the manager, that old, uh, uh, the old Texas Rangers manager, but he prefers vets. So, you know, there's rumors that he was going down. The vets came in and said, you know, we're, we want Alvarez to stay. Like we, they stuck up for him, which is really cool for a 21 year old to have his vets back like that. Here, this is Spencer Steer. I'm just going to good, good rookie pile. Backwards card, what you get? It's a rainbow foil, Chad Cool. <laughs> oh man. It is a rainbow foil, Chad Cool. Cool. Justin Verlander, 1988 design. These are just such cool designs. Nice, my childhood. And another not great pack. <laughs> All right, pick, pick your one. <laughs> there you go. All right, this is the one. It smells like a parallel to me. I see something. It smells, ooh, it smells something. <laughs> Oscar Colas rookie. Okay, so I think it's the next card. Oh, oh. You already showed. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's still oh, gosh. Man, this this insert set is just so brutal. I mean, it looks better than last year's, but it's just not. It's such a tease. I thought it was a black or something. <laughs> Man. You want to keep going or you want to get it going? All right, coming in, tag it in. It's not working. Something's not right. Something is not right, guys. All right, let's change up the juju. Clean up a little bit. Let's, let's tidy up. Hopefully this will help. All right, let's tidy up a little bit. Great Detmers, you got all the light on you. All right, here we go. We've got, I think we're about two thirds of the way through. Looks like we got about eight packs left, nine, eight, nine packs left, and then the silver pack. So we have not hit our guaranteed relic or auto yet, our guaranteed hit yet. So still got that to look forward to. All it takes is one. It could, take, could be a Corbin Carroll gold. All it takes is one. Don't think we got the one. Kyle Tucker. Michael Taylor, I feel like he's been in the league as a backup outfielder for forever. <laughs> Jeremy Pena, that's a cool card. Rookie Cup card. And we got here Michael Kopech turning things around finally. And use Nal Diaz, another base pack. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shuffle these around. <laughs> shuffle these around, give us some good juju. All right, here we go. Lewis, Future Stars, Max Meyer, Rookie. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Big upside guy. Baltimore. All right, let's see here. I don't even see anything, guys. Let's see it. Okay, we'll get an insert. Ted Williams. One of the all-time greats. People compared Mike Trout to Ted Williams. I remember when he was first coming up. Has he fulfilled that? What do y'all think? You gotta take into account that he does play in this era where pitchers are just, you know, significantly better than they ever were back then, or at least stuff-wise. So, tough to say. It's hard to compare grades from different eras. Connor Joe, Cody Morris, looks like we got another base pack. Bo Naylor, welcome to the show. Just got called up. Started his first game yesterday. All right. And that's the thing with hobby, right? You kind of have a set amount of hits. You know what you're going to get. So, oh, there's another WBC insert. Where 
whereas in hangers and in fat packs you kind of you're always just on edge because you never know the next pack could be a great one or even if you hit an auto you still look forward to another auto oh we got the shohei nice i wonder if they have parallels of these that would have been a nice hit parallel team japan shohei or an auto oh man an auto would oh, that would be awesome oh can you hand me one of those top loaders All right, Shohei. It's not kind of odd to say, but is that technically our best card so far, or is it the Corbin Carroll? It's one of those two. <laughs> it's just the base insert is our best card so far. Oh man, Harrison Bader. That's a cool card. Jordan Diaz, Spencer Watkins, Kyle Schwarber. All right, five packs to go. Uh, we've got one or two. Two numbered cards so far, the gold and then the advanced stats, Reed Detmers over there. So we should have like, I think maybe two more. I don't see anything there. So maybe we'll just end with the flurry or we could have one of those oh, missing hit packs. Oh, that would be terrible. I've been hearing a lot about that for uh, series two. So I'm definitely keeping these, keeping this box and wrappers just in case it happens to us. That would suck though. Man, I'm so ready for, huh? you want one of these? Which one do you want? I've been hyping up this three-part series so much and imagine if we got a missing hit and it just instantly kills the hobby's chances of getting any, to winning the, the competition. Man, it'd be rough. It'd be rough, Lars Nupar, future stars. Look at that pose, sweet card. MJ Melendez, Zeke Tovar. Nice rookie for the Rockies. Eye on that guy. Alec Thomas, Future Stars, and we got, ay, 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 I, <laughs> I thought it was something, but we got a uh, home run challenge <laughs> from Brian Buxton. Jeez. <laughs> All right, and base. All right, you wanna open that one here? You wanna wait, okay. All right, maybe I'll, I'm gonna change my right hand to open you this. That might help, that might be it. Anything? No. All right, I'm not even gonna flip anymore. Man, no way. Jordan Walker. Nice. The key is to not flip. Jordan Walker base. Oh, very, very uh, OC left to right, but that's all right. All right. Yeah, here we got backwards card. Y'all ready for this one? Let's go ahead and see this one. Ready? One, two. Three. Oh, we, oh, it's a black instant, but it's a Isak Paredes. Oh, uh, I mean, he's a he's a good player. That's oh, that's so cool. That's actually one of my first like true blacks that I pulled in forever. But yeah, out of 72, 70 out of seventy two, Isak Paredes, black. It's a really nice card. Man, imagine hitting like a top rookie in that. I probably would have accidentally knocked over the whole stand. <laughs> Sheesh, that's nice though, and it's actually pretty sharp. I mean, I don't know if I'd grade it because it's, no, well, it's Isaac Paredes, but um, still, that's, that's really cool. All right, going to, let me do this. All right, I'm gonna put the, the lowest number in the middle right now. Okay, sorry guys. Gotta get the stage looking okay. Y'all know that. The read, Corbin. Oh yeah, I gotta finish this pack. How's that? Miguel Rojas. Musgrove, Xavion Curry. Dang, look at the way he spells that name. That's really cool. Xavion Curry. There we go. Okay, here, you can open that one. All right, we got two packs left, one each. You wanna do, okay, we can do a fight. That'd be cool. All right, how do we do this? Oh, whoever has a better card, whoever has the best card gets to open the silver pack. We'll do that. Silver pack opening rights are on the line here. Whoever has the best card in these one of two packs between us gets to open it. And we gotta be honest, because otherwise people will flame us in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, we've got something weird, I don't know. All right, you can just, here. Okay, I guess we can just go ahead. 
I'll, I won't even stop until I get to something even notable if it's a base mm -hmm. card. Corbin Carroll, that Oswaldo Cabrera. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to get the best card here because <laughs> I might have got the relic already, but you want to go ahead and finish yours? You go ahead and finish yours first. I'm pretty sure I got the relic. <laughs> Hopefully relic auto. That'd be sweet. Zach Gallen. You got a Mookie Betts All-Star. Not bad. It would have to be a real bad relic, though, to lose to that card. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll do this. We'll put this. All right, this is the card to beat. Wait, did you have any other notable rookies? Um. Okay, let me see real quick. Make sure we didn't miss this. This is from her pal. See if there's anything better than that Mookie Betts. Um, Mookie Betts insert. I don't, I don't think so. Kerry Carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the card to beat. I think we can do it. I think we'll pull from the back. Like this. Finish this first. Come on, Corbin Carroll out of these. Corbin Carroll is so hard to pull. All right, Oswald Cab Oswald Cabrera. I guess that's my best card technically right now. Manny Machado based on the other side, and here is our hit, guys. Feels like a relic card to me, but here we go. It's a Christopher Morel rookie patch auto. Not bad. Oh, whoops! I was like, what the heck is that? Not bad, it's not numbered either, but pretty cool. Game or player worn memorabilia. Oh man, I don't know what that means. But Christopher Morel, uh, you know, that's not too bad. I'll take that. Morel's, uh, you know, killing it for the Cubs right now. So I think I won that, that pack battle though. <laughs> so I will get the, uh, what do y'all think? Mookie Betts or Christopher Morel? <laughs> Let's say the morale. Let's see if you fit in there. He actually fits in there. All right, so that's our hit. Thank God we actually hit something because uh, those were the last two packs. So clutch. Well, I don't know if I was clutch. It's long overdue. We'll call it that. All right, here we go. So um, you know, not a very strong hobby box. We can take you off. Not a very strong hobby box so far, but. Um, We've got one more shot at greatness. One more shot at retirement. <laughs> one last shot for mankind. I right, gotta be careful with this. And I know some thoughts in here. And I'm not even gonna preview if we're gonna hit, guys. I'm just gonna go for it. So no, no spoilers. Oswald Peraza. Nice card. Logan O'Hoppy. Nice card. Oh man. One more chance. Masataka Yoshida. Okay, three for three on rookies. So that's five. actually really nice. Oh, one of them's just like a filler, I think, oh. at the back of the last card. So okay, Masataka Yoshida, another rookie. It's pretty good. Last card up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Estrella Rookie. So, you know, that's one of those interesting packs that, um, it's just a back. Interesting packs where you don't get anything crazy, but every single card is a good rookie. So that's not too bad, actually. Ruiz is awesome. This is Steel's king right now in the MLB. Playing for the A's, unfortunately, but guy is a stud. Got a nice one. Um, we can do this. We can do this off camera, but yeah, we're gonna sleeve these up. Uh, yeah, Masataka Yoshida, Logan Ohapi. And Oswald Peraza. Who knows? Will he get a chance again with Volpe struggling so bad? All right. So, okay. Not too bad. Um, let's take a look at what we got so far um, with this box. Nothing crazy, I would say. Um, here, we'll do this in some kind of disorder. Uh, do a little quick recap of the notables. I think these are the notables, really. All right. So as far as inserts go, looks like we get we got two of these, um, some eighty eights. Okay, let me do this. Stars, a home run challenge, one aces, significant statistics, eighty eight, 
and WBC cards. Oh crap. Sorry guys. I'm a mess right now. <laughs> all right, here we go. So you can see all this. This is what you kind of, a little spread of what you get. Okay. All right, so we get, we got two WBC cards, three all-star cards, uh, one aces, and uh, two, two 1988s and a significant statistics, and also one home run challenge. So pretty standard right here. Um, Harry Ford, Mookie Betts. For the all-stars, we got Lou Gehrig, Mookie Betts. This is a Mookie box. Ted Williams, got the Zach Wheeler all aces. Justin Verlander, Pedro Martinez in the 1988 designs, which are really awesome. Significant statistics card, Devin Williams, and a Royce Lewis home run challenge card. I got Correa in the last one, so. Apparently I'm a Twins fan now. All right, and Rainbow Foils, we got two, which I think is about the average for, for hobbies. Um, we got one rookie, at least, the deal haul, so not, not too bad. Um, I'd actually say we gotta sleeve that one up. Um, out of some, some good rookies we got, uh, we hit a Jordan Walker, uh, Zeke Tovar, Kodai Senga, Bo Naylor, Max Mayer, uh, Jeremy Pena Cup Card, Spencer Steer, Francisco Alvarez, Estuary Ruiz, Masataka Yoshida, and Anthony Volpe as well, as well as a Spencer Strider. So not, not too bad. We hit most of the good rookies. Um, and we'll, we'll show that the best one that we hit coming right up. Um, and then out of the notable cards, we got first up Christopher Morrell, Major League Material. Game worn memorabilia rookie card. Pretty cool. Uh, we got an Isaac Paredes, black, number 272. It's actually a really nice card. Um, we got a Shohei Otani, WBC Team Japan card. We got a the top rookie in the set, Corbin Carroll. Some say the next great. Will he be better than Julio Rodriguez? That's the question this for this year, for their rookie years. Reed Detmers, rookie, or not rookie card, Reed Detmers, uh, advanced stats card number to 300. We got a Miami Marlins gold card, number to 2023. And a Mookie Betts favorite sons. So... Um, yeah, that's our spread, guys. It's not, it wasn't great. Um, the mojos were, were good with no hit, though. Um, we got the Estuary Ruiz. Got the Oswaldo, Oswald Peraza. Logan Ohapi. Masataka Yoshida. And we also hit a Spencer Steer 1988 rookie from earlier. I almost forgot about that one. So, there you go, guys. Um, part two wrapped up. Yeah, hobby, uh, you know, it's it's very safe, right? You, you know you're going to get a hit. Um, you just got to see if you can hit at least one, maybe a rookie parallel. That would make your box worth it. I, I don't think we hit that really on this one. Uh, if we can grade the Corbin Carroll and some of the other cards out and kind of make some of the money back, it's probably the best way to go about it. Uh, but overall, just, you know, a lot, of, a lot of decent cards, nothing great. Um, so, yeah, for hobby, it's safe, right? So... My opinion, you know, at first, first, first grade, just off the top of my head, I'd probably give it a you know, solid six point, six point nine. I think uh, it's solid. It's fun. You kind of know what you're gonna get. So, that's my opinion. We'll uh, we'll do a little analysis at the end of uh, the series. Part three is coming up. Um, so, if you enjoyed this content, um, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get notified as soon as part three, which is eight hanger boxes drops. We'll be in the next day or so. Um, so pretty excited about that. Happy Father's Day, guys. Nothing but rips. Over and out. Peace.